road work can be difficult and dangerous, often done in the blazing hot sun as cars pass close by. It's uh, pretty intense when those cars come by in this era of uh, we call the D-drivers, drunk, drug, drowsy, distracted, or, uh, or dumb. According to the Federal Highway Administration, there's a crash in a work zone every five minutes in the U.S. And on average, more than two crash-related fatalities every day. Drivers of crash trucks, which offer protection to the mobile work crews just ahead of them, are particularly vulnerable. It's like a crash test dummy or, you know, a test uh, pilot. Uh, it's a dangerous job. Shaylin Bott, so the head of Colorado's Department of Transportation, uh, is about to unseat at least one of those drivers. His agency will soon roll out what it claims is the world's first autonomous impact protection vehicle, a crash truck that relies on self-driving technology. It's actually a pretty simple, simple setup. Director of Highway Maintenance Kyle Lester says the cushioned truck is positioned behind the lead vehicle. Then someone in that vehicle electronically controls it using 10 GPS points between the two trucks. And in a sense, you just press go and put the technology in operation. So wherever that lead vehicle goes, wherever that driver goes, this vehicle's following a certain distance behind. They've been testing this driverless truck, which is also just around the corner in the UK, in places like parking lots. Most of the bugs, we're told, have been worked out. Bot says the truck will be used conservatively to begin with for things like road striping operations. Says his employees are on board with the idea. A lot of people are concerned about automation and is it going to take jobs away from people. This is a job we want to take away from people. The truck, which has attracted interest from dozens of other U.S. states, costs $350,000, more than twice as much as a regular crash truck. Colorado hopes to buy more of these vehicles as the price comes down. As we perfect this and fully deploy, people are going to see we can't afford not to do this. It just makes sense on a lot of fronts. It's a no-brainer, they say, when it comes to worker safety. Crash truck drivers pride themselves in taking one for the team, but that idea has always been better in principle than in practice. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.